joy this morning it is to be in the presence of our Almighty God who has allowed us to be in this place just one more time. Yeah. I want to remind you this morning that truly we are among the blessed and that we laid down on last night and God touched us this morning with the finger of his dear love and we were able to get up this morning the right conception of our minds and the movement of our limbs what a joy, what a blessing that is. If you don't believe that that's a joy and that's a blessing just fool around and lose your mind. And you don't have the activities of your limbs but you are solely dependent upon someone else uh, for your uh, well-being. And then you are allowed to receive back your mind and your good health, you, you'll appreciate it much better. We are among the blessed this morning. Amen. We know this morning that our nation is in a lot of trouble, uh, a lot of turmoils, a lot of cities and families are grieving today. But we're going to call upon our God who do with all things well. I believe this morning that everything that is happening in our world, God has a plan. Yes. You never catch the Heavenly Father without a plan. But we must learn here in America that if we don't turn back to God, Amen. it's going to get worse before it gets, it gets better. I'm going to be challenging all of our West Oak Grove family members to be in prayer. Mm -hmm. Prayer is the only thing that shakes the very foundation of heaven. I read somewhere, I said, ask and it shall be given. We're asking the Lord to move on this land and on yes, this yes. Amen. Amen. The earth yes. as we live upon is becoming uh, worse day by day. Now, this is also an opportunity for the people of God, the children of God, to let their light shine in the midst of all of this darkness. Mm -hmm. Now, there is a saying in the scriptures, the eye of the Lord are in every place, yes. and our God sees everything. In other words, God sees just as good in the dark as he does in the light. Because with God, there is no darkness. There is always light. So he exposes what's in the dark. We could talk all morning about the conditions of the United States and how we got there and how it, how it happened and things of that nature. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, somebody has got to ask, one question, is there any word Come on, from the Lord? Oh, yes. And if we would go back to his word, he has everything that we need for our persons. If we would get back to the word. Here's what we struggle with. We don't like the answer to our question. Yes. We want to fight, but God says, hold your peace. Uh, we want to curse when God says, keep your tongue. Mm -hmm. And we're living in a world now where people are wanting to do what they want to do, when they want to do it, and as long as they want to do it, and it does not matter who it hurts. Let me close this morning in our introduction by saying, at the end of the day, God's going to have something to say yes, yes. about all of it. Yes, and he will have the final, the final word. So we thank you this morning for your presence and those that are here this morning. We're certainly honored to look out and see you uh, through virtual church. We thank you this morning for our listening audience on Facebook and even on YouTube. Thank you so very, very much. I do want to send a couple of shout outs this morning to Brother Collins uh, uh, Robinson. He uh, still competed in the Optimist Club uh, uh, essay and speech. Uh, he placed third. Amen. We want to celebrate that. Amen. Thank you. Uh, also, I want to uh, 
bit of a sad note. Sister Eliza Tate, I call her Amy, uh, passed away on oh, yesterday wow. at 3, sometimes somewhere around 3.30 uh, on yesterday. We talked to Phyllis, and uh, certainly she's grieving because she can't bring her home. She can't give her that traditional burial that, that she, her mother so desperately would have wanted done. California laws and rules are different. And so we're praying for Felicia, her sister, and we're praying for uh, the Tate Turner family we pray for all of them. And certainly, uh, she touched our lives while she was here with us. Amen. Uh, uh, here, but be, be in prayer for that family as, uh, as well. And so we just, we just, we just, uh, we can't live forever. If we're born, we're going to die. Amen. Unless you, unless we're all caught in the rapture. Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, but hell, however, the Lord come get me. I just want to be where he is. Yes, sir. Somebody said, well, we're going to reign on earth for a thousand. I don't care where, the, where we reign or where, as long as I'm with it. Uh, if you with the Lord, that means you ain't in hell. Ain't right. uh, I'm, I'm going to leave that alone. Baby. Uh, also, also, I want to uh, uh, thank um, uh, Raheem Roberts and my son, uh, Terry Jr., and all of those who worked uh, to make the graduation for our uh, 2020 seniors uh, and, and, and college students, high school students, uh, just a marvelous success yesterday. It was absolutely fantastic. Just magnificent. It was just magnificent. I mean, that magnificent. Amen. Uh, it was great, and we appreciate uh, their hard work. And I know it's hard work because they brought those platforms from out of there, and those things are tons. They brought them all out there and, and set it out. So they got a taste of what Brother Wallace was doing, uh, putting stuff together, uh, having it together for you guys. It's some work going on with those things. So we appreciate them and all of those who work along with them. And then I want to thank the West Oak Road family for coming out and honking their horns and clapping their hands. And then, amen, made a drive through, amen, and blessed the kids with uh, something in their hands. And we're so grateful. And we're so thankful for the Grove family. No family and no church like the West Oak Grove family. Amen. We're going to worship together this morning. Uh, and we're going, to, we're going to give the Lord our very, very best. And I want those who are in uh, live stream with us this morning and Facebook uh, page, our, um, yeah, our YouTube page. I, I just want you all to know that these few that we have here uh, live, uh, is a blessing. I pray that you are enjoying them as well. At this time, the Seagram Ranch will come and give us a beginning of the hour devotion uh, today. Let's we enjoy ourselves on this morning. Amen. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Why don't you come on, come on in this house? Hey.
climbed to the highest mountain, looked all around, couldn't find no life. Yeah, yeah. Lord, I went down into the deepest valley.
recognize and understand that we need our steps redirected. Oh, yes. Because the steps that the world is going is not in the way of the Lord. Amen. And it appears that we are getting further away from a God who desires peace yes. as opposed to the confusion and the turmoil. Yes. Let me also ring the bell this morning that the Bible talks about whatsoever a man soweth, yes. that shall he also yes. reap. Yes. We, we have to come to the realization the fact that when wrong has been done for so long, and there is a generation who uh, come up under a different pharaoh. Mm -hmm. All right now. Uh, does not seem to know nor understand or even remember history. All right. But it is a true saying that history has a familiar way of returning and repeating itself. Yes. We cannot continue the path as a nation and expect to continue to live in peace amen. until we return, amen, back to God. Amen. And we've taken God out of the church, yeah. believe it or not. Yes, sir. We've taken God out of the school. We've yep. taken God out of our home. So when you take God out, you're left to your own self. Yes, sir. The Bible amen. said it is not in man that walketh. Yes. Lord have mercy. To direct his own steps. Dr. Martin Luther King said something like this, we have some difficult days ahead. Yes. But if the Lord, if we allow the Lord to be our leader, yes, sir. then Savior, we're going to make it. Yes. But most of us don't want to uh -huh, follow. We, we want to lead. Mm -hmm. Most of us that's leading don't know where we're going. If you're going to lead, Anybody ought to at least know where you're going. The Bible says the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. We understand that all men are born sinners. That we need the forgiveness of God and his shed blood to redeem our souls from hell. Because of this, there's no good men. Uh, there's no good, rather, uh, in men. That, I don't mean the harm is good if we try to be. Ain't no good in us. No, no, if, we, if there is any good in us, it is because of the Holy Ghost. It's because of the Holy Spirit that lives and reigns in our life. And we have made up our minds to yield our flesh to the Spirit. But when a person accepts Jesus Christ, as the Savior, they are clothed in a robe of righteousness. Isaiah 61 and verse number 10. And God no longer sees their sinfulness. All he sees is Jesus Christ. As such, we find that this verse is directed to the children of God. In this verse, we find two important attributes of a Christian walk with God. Number one, his steps are directed and God delighted in the person's walk. Yes. Thank God this morning right that we have a God who knows where he's going. Yes. Thank God we, we, we serve a God who has not only uh, uh, the directions to where he is going, but when we get there, it will be a place of peace. Yes. Mm -hmm. It will be a place of joy. It will be a place where we know no pain. We know no sickness. He knows where he is going. But his steps are directed by the Lord. And I think that would be a very good question this morning. Who's directing your steps? Who are you following? Whose footsteps are you walking in this morning? David, whom God called a man after his own heart. 1 Samuel 13 and verse 14, Acts chapter 13 and verse number 32, has seen God's direction in his life. David, even in this text, says, I have been young, yes, and now I am old. David has spent some time with the Lord, and the Lord knew David, and David knew the Lord, but David, God knew rather David's heart. But if God did not know David's heart, David, God would have never said he's a man. After my own heart. No, it's not 
not saying that David don't do any wrong because we know he did. And all of us have done, amen, something in our life. All of us have, 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 have gone a path that we knew better and we knew we wasn't supposed to do it before we even got started. But our flesh overruled our spirit that time. Yes. Yes. Won't, the, won't the flesh crawl? Won't the, won't, won't the flesh cause you to do some things that you know you've been taught not to do? Yes. David made some mistakes, but in his heart, God seen his heart. Watch this. And David repented. Yeah. You know, when you do wrong, y'all at least yeah. repent. Yeah. Somebody said, if you mess up, y'all to fess up. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. But, but the Bible says David was a man after God's own heart. And again, this does not mean that God uh, 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 dictates our way. As we see David veered a few times from the path. No, we are uh, a free moral agent. We, we have been given uh, the privilege of making our own decisions and we, our own choices. And sometimes when we make the wrong choice, we have to answer for it. Yes. Mm -hmm. You cannot do wrong for every and get back. No matter how David tried to hide the wrong, God knew the wrong had taken place. God could not allow David, who, who, who had veered away from the path, uh, to live in sin and think he was going to get away with it. God sent, y'all know the story, Nathan to him. Yes. Told him the story about the man who had the little lamb and poor little lamb and the little man had all the flocks that he needed. Friend came and he took the little lamb from the poor man. David said to himself, that man who did that all week. Bible says Nathan looked at him, or Jonathan, Nathan rather looked at him and said, you, you the man. I wonder how David must have felt. Uh, but if we read the text carefully, we do know one thing about him. He repented of his wrong. And when you have done wrong, you ought to admit that you have done wrong. Some of us have torn up our families because we won't say we're sorry. We know we are wrong. We know we did wrong. But our pride has caused us to fall into destruction. Listen, the steps of a good man are ordered by the law. The, the steps of a good man ordered by the law shows us that God has given directions as to the way his people should walk uh, in life and even in this world. Some folk can look good Amen. In the world, but don't look too good at home. But our Christian walk, if we are Christian, who we are at home ought to be who we are in the world. And who we are in the world ought to be who we are at home. I've seen some people so nice to everybody in the world, but they mean, but they mistreat their own family. Yeah. But when a man steps are ordered by the Lord, he don't go just anywhere. When a man's step is ordered by the Lord, he don't say just anything. Right, when a man's step are ordered by the Lord, his lips say, speak, Lord, your servant here. Yeah. Command that I will obey. You are the potter. I am the clay. Shape the Lord, and you mold me to be workable in your vineyard. Yeah. When a man's step is ordered by the Lord, he cannot help but do the things of the Lord. Uh -huh. And because he has the word of God living and abiding He was willing to die for 
for his bride. Mm -hmm. yes. I wonder this way I'm going to move on mm -hmm. from that right there. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. All we have to do is read and study God's word. In John, St. John chapter 5, verse number 39, search the scriptures. For in them you think you have eternal life, and they are they which testify me. Paul told Timothy, his young son, study yes, to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needed not be ashamed, but a right to divide the word of God. This is last night and the night before all of this looting. I promise you, if the word of God was living and abiding in the heart, yes, they should have marred, but there would not have been one person who lost their life. Yes, mm -hmm. But God is about a God of peace. Yes, yeah. And when we go to protest, which is our right to protest, but we ought to protest without destroying other people's property. Yes, sir. Amen. Appreciate it, bro. Uh -huh. Amen. When a man is stepped or ordered by the Lord, he knows how to behave. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He knows how to talk. He knows how he's supposed to walk. Because the word of God lives and abides yes. in his heart. Yes. And when the word is in your heart, coupled with the Holy Spirit, directing you, there are just some things you cannot say. There are places you cannot go. Things that you will not do because you're walking in order steps. Hmm. If we will follow the scriptures, if we will follow the scriptures, we will, we will then allow God to order our steps. And this is the testimony of a good man. His steps are ordered. Why did you go this path? Why did you do this? Why did you do that? Because the God I serve requires of me to be more concerned about his will than my will. That's why Jesus could say, your will, let your will be done. But if it be, you will let this cup pass from me. But it's not about me right now. Whatever you want me to do, that's what I'm going to do. I'm reminded again of Peter that when they were had fished all night long. Yes, sir. And they caught nothing. Not, your word. not yes, one sir. fish, not nothing. All night long. Yes, sir. Brought those, that boat, Lord have mercy back in and had to clean those nets. But the Lord said, you can borrow your boat. He didn't tell you, lunch out into the deep. Can you imagine Peter's heart? Go back. What did he say? Brother? Been out there all night, didn't get nothing. What did he say? Brother? The difference is that the last time he went, Jesus wasn't on boat. That's right. Anytime right. 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 Jesus didn't do a thing in the bottom of the chair. Amen. Amen. Jesus in your house. Things are gonna change. Yeah. When Jesus is at the workhouse, things are gonna change. Yeah. When you by yourself, things are gonna change. Yeah. When Jesus is allowed to be a, yeah. a, a participant in your life, things are about if you don't believe me. Ask that woman who had five husbands and number six wasn't her, but when she met number seven, she said, Come meet a man who has told me everything I've ever done. When you walk in order of steps. The Lord will just say, Peter, lunch out uh -huh. yeah. into the deep. Yes, when he dropped that net down and caught so many, his net started to break. He said, come out, fellas. I got so much of an overflow. You got to come help me. Yeah. He started moving, jumped in the pot of the boat, and it started to sink. When Peter collected himself, he dropped to his knees because he knew he was in the presence of somebody who knew something about all the steps. And if we would let the Lord on our steps, if America would let the Lord on our steps, we wouldn't be burning our cities down. Uh -huh. We're burning down grocery stores, burning down automotive company. Now, you got to drive 30, 40 miles to get your bar when you used to just drive right down the street. Uh -huh. Amen. Yeah. We need our steps redirected this morning. Mm. The Lord is my shepherd. Yes. I wonder this morning is the Lord still America's shepherd. Mm -hmm. The Lord is my shepherd. Watch this. And I shall not. Yes. Watch this. He maketh me to lie down where? Green, green. <laughs> I'm no scorched pastor. I'm no burnt pastor. But he, he allows me to lay down and breathe. And I like this life. He he, he leading me. These last few nights, the Lord hadn't been leading some of our protesters. And he has not been leading some of these police officers. Listen, just that there's a good preacher, there's a bad preacher. Just that there's a good policeman, there's a bad policeman. All policemen are bad, and all preachers ain't bad. But we got some bad preachers. Y'all ain't saying nothing. I just pray y'all don't lump me in that 
You know, you know, you can go buy your car. You can go buy same car, same color, same year. And don't you know one can be a lemon? Can you get you, by the time you get to fifty dollars a mile, it's it's come, but the other one done got a hundred and fifty. Yeah. What happened? That was just a bad one. Yeah. Yes. If there's some folk that never buy another, it was just a a bad one. Sometimes we get some bad punishment. Oh, thank you. Watch this. We, we get some bad judges. Yes. Yeah. 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 Amen. We, we get some bad lawyers who go behind and work stuff that they know is unseemly. Yeah. But here's a child of God that gives him peace that passes all understanding and that God sees the meeting. Yes, sir. Oh, yes. God, 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 God sees everything and God's going to move in his own time. The other night, Mr. So Wilder was watching this show where a man had been convicted 37 years ago of a crime he didn't commit. He was singing on this show. Uh, uh, Simon on the show, but, 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 but anyway, 37 years. That man went to prison and thought he would never get out, but God showed up. Yes, God has always a shorter. Now, why it took so long that God did it? But I guarantee you, when they walked in there and told him, You are free, he didn't look at me. I ain't gone. <laughs> took 37 years of my life. I'm not going to stay right in my life. Whenever God shows up and gives you a blessing, you're going to take that blessing. One year, I'm 37 years. When I never got a blessing from the Lord and said, I don't want it. Let me tell you something else. And a blessing that comes from the Lord is never late. Amen. It may be late to you, but to God, it was right on time. The Lord is my shepherd. Then I like what Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 and 6 said, Trust in the Lord. With all of thy heart and lean not to thy own understanding. In all thy ways do what? Acknowledge him and he shall, yeah. he shall direct thy path. <clears throat> America's path is not the lost path right now. We're going to a different path. Because if we follow the Lord's path, we'll have more good days. Then we do bad days. When we follow the Lord's path, we'll have more good than we do evil. You will smile more than you frown when you, Lord have mercy. Yes, sir. Yeah, I said, Lord have mercy. Direct, when the Lord directs your path. There's just something that your spirit will not allow you to do because you're walking in order steps. And because you have a clear knowledge of what God wants you to do and how to live and how to conduct yourself, his word, David said, I hid it in my heart that I may not sin against God. If you want to learn how to quit some of your sinning, you got to get in the word of God. Yes, sir. Yes. You got to allow the Holy Spirit. To have control. Then second, second attribute is that God delights. Mm -hmm. He delights in the ways of a good man. In Matthew chapter 16, and verse number 24 shows us the path of delighting God. Yeah. Then said Jesus unto his disciples, if any man will come after me, mm -hmm. let him deny himself. If he comes after me, let him then if you're going to follow the Lord, you got to give up something. Yes, sir. And, and one of the things you've got to deny is yourself. And, 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 and the Bible says, and take up your cross. The Lord said, I got my cross and, and I bear my cross. But before you get to me, you're going to have to bear your own cross. And one of the things, the crosses that you got to bear is that you got to give up of yourself. If you're going to delight the Lord, you're going to give up yourself and you're going to follow the Lord. Listen, Themselves to the Lord, the Lord blessed them. Yes, Daniel in the line with me. Yes, sir. Denied himself, would not bow down, mm -hmm. would not give his God up, would not stop praying to the God that he loved. Uh -huh. And the Bible says he was going in the lion thing. Yes, sir. God seen his faith. God saw his heart. And the Bible said that when they came to get Daniel, Lord have mercy, he was resting on the lion. Yeah. Old preacher said head was, was on one, one, one was for his head rest and the other for his foot stoop. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Just resting. Yes. Old preacher said God gave uh -huh, the lion locked you up. Yes, sir. Uh, but really, yes. his faith, faith his belief, belief, his commitment, commitment. his willingness, willingness to lose himself. 
himself yeah. and put his soul trust in God. Yes. Oh Lord, have mercy. I wonder what happened. What would happen to us in here this morning? To those that are live streaming this morning, if we put our faith solely on the shoulders of Jesus Christ. Listen, to deny ourselves is to yield our will and our dreams to Christ. I said to deny ourselves is to willingly submit our will and our dreams. Listen, when Peter went back out there, he said, Lord, we have toiled all night. All night. Huh? Lord, we, we, we fish all night. And here's the, the killing part, Lord, we didn't catch one fish. I mean, not one guppy. I mean, we didn't even, Lord, we didn't catch not even a shrimp, Lord. Mm. But what he says, he said, but nevertheless, mm. Lord, mm. Lord, and that's what he was saying, I really don't want to go back out there. But because I trust yes. you, because
Not a perfect man, a good man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. Amen. Yeah. Not a perfect man, but a, but a good man steps are ordered by, by the Lord. When, when David uh, uh, veered off of the path, he had enough knowledge of God's word as how to get back on the path. Yes. And sometimes we have to have some help. Yes. We can know, yes. and we can know better. We can know better. David knew what God was, but David veered off, and God had to send somebody. He sent the man by the name of me. And don't y'all know? Don't y'all know? David got that thing right. He got it so right that he married that woman. And they had a boy together by the name of Saul. Who tell me God won't fix it? Yes, okay. And the book says, we, we believe Solomon to be one of the wisest women to have ever lived. Mm -hmm. But David said, created me. A man after God's own heart ain't, ain't, ain't boastful and prideful and stuck up and snotty and snooty. When he's wrong and he knows he's wrong, he falls to his knees. He can fall in a of submission. It says, create in me. Come on, A clean heart. Watch this. Renew in me a right spirit. I mean, that's a man who is walking in order to step. A good man always said, not me. Not my will, but yours. God, I know my heart is not right. I, I know I did wrong. I know I feel from the past. But create yes, 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 a clean heart. Yes. And then when you clean the heart, renew in me. Yes. Right yes. spirit. Oh, that's good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Steps of a good man. Mm -hmm. I didn't say perfect, man. Yeah. As a matter of fact, read about all of God's men. Wasn't perfect. What's up? What's up? It was good. I know you. I know what you said. All about was that Joe was a perfect. We uh -huh. got to go back and so back to that, we got to go back and look at that word. Joe was a man who walked right with God. Yes, so if you read Joe's story, you know Joe was right. Joe just was sinning. Yes, sir. But Joe comes to a point in his life uh -huh. and his experiences that was going to be nothing yes, sir. that separated him. From God. Let, me, let me tell you why. You cannot be separated from God. You can't be separated from God when you've had your own personal experience. Mm -hmm. yes, when sir. you have. Yes, when, when, when trouble and challenges come your way and yeah. you don't budge, yeah. you better rest assured that person ain't going there because they've been there before. Yeah. And the pain was so, the difficult was so painful, the experience was so awful that they told themselves, never again. Never again. I'm going to trust yes, sir. in the Lord. And Job had come to a point, naked, I came not into this world. Yeah. Naked. In other words, Job had enough of the word of God to know that I didn't come here with nothing. As a matter of fact, it ain't even mine. Everything I have is on loan. I'm just a steward. The Lord get it. And the Lord take it. Job had a knowledge of the word. And when you got a knowledge of the word, you know how to walk and the Lord delights in it. Yes. Yes, sir. Good teacher. Good stuff. Good stuff. You know, it got so hot in the house. It got so difficult in Joel's marriage. Children, all of them gone. All the money, finances gone. I mean, everything just, just, just burning up around. Sister Joel. Came to her husband, Joe. Why don't you just curse God in there? Can you imagine how Joe must have felt? Oh, yeah. Children gone, finances gone, influence gone, friends sitting around. You must have done something wrong, Joe. It didn't come with no consolation. But Joe was in a place that nobody could get to. He was in his secret place. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Lord. He was, he was in that pavilion where no one can get in but you. And the only way you can get into you, you have to. You are the only. You are the only. Lord have mercy. You are the only person that can change anyone's interest in the other. That's 
why when you go to your secret place, the only somebody you desire to have is the Lord. Because he can hide you under his wing. Oh, yes, he will. As a mother would hide his children. Yes, sir. But he was in his secret place. I said, Joe, why don't you just. So I see your pain. Why don't you just. Joe, I know we done lost children. Why don't you. Joe, I know we ain't got nothing. Why don't you just cuss God and just, you got a ball on the top of your head, the sole of your jaw, look at you, sitting on the head. Why don't you just curse him and die? Joseph will come out of his secret place in just a moment. And he says to her, you speak foolish as one of the foolish. And Joseph went back into his secret place and waited. That is. Yeah. And he. And he. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. And I like this. The Bible says in all of this, Joe sinned not. Nor did he charge God. How many of you know that if you stay with the Lord, he'll give you double yes, for the trouble? Yes, sir. He had more in the end mm -hmm. than what he started in the beginning. Yes, all because. Joe steps were ordered by the Lord. I, I challenge you that are listening to me to message this morning and live streaming, go to YouTube. Let your steps be ordered by the Lord. I don't know who you are, where you are out there, but if you need to be saved this morning, you want to be a child of God, hear the word. Hear how Jesus died for you. Believe that with all of your heart. And then make up in your mind to repent of your sins, Luke 13, 3 and 5. And then be willing to confess Christ to be the Son of God, the unit. When he saw the water, let see there's water. What hindered me from being baptized? Philip said, If I believe it, I may. They both got down out of the chair, went down into the water. And Philip said, I believe. And the unit said, I believe. He used to be the Christ, the Son of the living God. And he baptized him. And baptism washes away all of our sins. It's a baptism with one in Christ Jesus. The baptism say Mark 16, 15, and 16. You may be uh, there in the uh, secret chambers of your mind right now as you're listening to me via church, via YouTube, via uh, a live streaming, and you have fallen in sin. Listen, just type the thing in on the West Oak Road Facebook page and we'll be praying for you. Yes. Listen, you want to be saved and, and you're sitting at home, is all you got to do is dial 9. 01489-2604 and you'll get me directly we'll baptize you today not tomorrow, today because your soul is so it's, if you just need prayer we'll do that for you uh, as well this may be the last time you get a chance to tell God that you're sorry and that you need amen to be to be saved not too long if he said the day that you hear my voice harder, not your heart. Won't you come as we stay? There's not a friend like the Lord.
Lord, 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 Lord. We're so grateful and we're so happy this morning uh, that Joshua, I said that right, Joshua's come this morning to put the Lord on in baptism. Do you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God? With that confession, God should brought death to Jesus. We're going to bring eternal life unto you. We're going to baptize you this morning behind these curtains in the water. In that baptism, all of your sins will be forgiven and washed away. You'll rise to walk in the newness of life. And when you come up out of that body, it is now, Lord, you speak to me. I'm going to live according to your will. Amen. In your young life, sometimes you're going to fall. But get up. You got so much grace to cover you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Get up. Thank you. Don't do it again. Yeah. But if by chance you do it again, you still got grace. Yes, yes. yes sir. You still have grace. Well, you and the more you appreciate the grace of God, the less sin you're going to do. We know you're young, your heart is tender. Your pressure is on every side. All you know, God loves you. At the end of the day, His love can never change the cause of sin. He is. You can change, but not God. Hallelujah. We got Josh right now. God bless you as he's been taken for that church. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sister Ward is standing for me. Uh, church, I'm standing this morning because I got a call from my daughter, Victoria, and she's asking that the church pray for her as she goes into major surgery on Wednesday. There's a surgery on her neck. Please pray for Amen. Amen. Let's pray together. God, we thank you so much again for your amazing grace and your, your kindness toward us. We thank you, God, for being long-suffering and patient. Father, we're weak, yes. but you are strong. Thank you for being our leading post. Yes. We thank you for propping us up on every side. Mm -hmm. We ask, God, that you would bless Joshua this morning. Yes. Thank, you, we thank you for him coming very early in his life mm -hmm. and willing to give himself and his life to you. God, help us as adults yes. to encourage him, to strengthen him, support him yes. as he continues to grow in the kingdom of your dear son. Oh, yes. Bless his mother, bless his brother, yes. bless his family, all of those uh, that are part of his growth and development when he is not with the church. Mm -hmm. Pray that you will bless that family, yes. bless that family going in and coming out. Bless it, lying down and getting up. God, we just thank you for him coming this morning. At such a young and a tender age, help us to be a church that will show him what church really looks like. Yes. That it is not a building, but it's a relationship. Yes. And we thank you so much, Jesus, for loving us so much that you were willing to die that we might live. Mm -hmm. You gave of yourself, and you loved us so much. We want to say thank you. Bless us as only you can. Forgive us of our sins. And we'll be careful to give you all the glory and all the praise. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. amen. And thank God. At this time, we have been blessed by God to have jobs and things to supply our every need. And in our service where we are commanded to give and to give back to the God who gave it to us in the first place. Joe made it clear, I came here with nothing and I'm going to leave with nothing. In 2 Corinthians chapter 9, beginning with verse number 6, for this I say, you which sow it sparingly shall reap also sparingly. And he which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. 
every man according as he purposes in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity. For God loveth a cheerful giver, and God is able to make all things, all grace rather, abound toward you, that ye always having all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work. Shall we pray? God, thank you so much for allowing us to have good health and good strength. That we are able, Father, to go to as many places to work and to make a living, Father. For we know the condition of our country now is in such disarray. So much unemployment, Father. But we thank you for the jobs we do have. Allow us to give back to you what belongs to you. In Jesus' name. At this time, we're going to have Stephen come and give us a song verse to a song that we prepare for the great for the baptism. You know that they.
streaming, I failed to mention, especially to West Oak Road, let's not forget about our fourth Sunday building fund program. You can also uh, make your contributions through our cash app, which is dollar sign West Oak Road COC, or you can bring it to the church. I will be mobile office this week. You can reach me at 901-489-2604. Uh, I will be in Hernando all week, but I'll be in the office, out of the office, and you'll catch me in the mobile office this week. Also, uh, if you want to mail it in, you can mail it to West Oak Road, PO Box 1007, Hernando, Mississippi, 386, Amen 32. So we'll make sure we do that. Don't forget about, especially the Grove family, the building fund. Uh, we are getting pretty close. Uh, at some point, we're going to have this building paid for, it. Amen. Amen. It won't be very, very long. So we want to make sure that we continue to do our building fund project. Thank you so, so very much. The Cash App has been going well, and even Giveify as well is still going well. So we thank you so very, very, very much. We're going to ask Siegel to give you another song. I really don't want to commune without Joshua. And so uh, let's see just a little bit more. I hope that my viewers through live streaming and Amen YouTube enjoy, amen, this great, great set. Come on, Siegel. All of my steps in your word, dear Lord, lead me, guide me, and
now at this place in our worship where we commemorate that day that our Lord and Savior died, that we might live. That day that he paid the ransom price, the sins of all mankind. The weight of the world was on his shoulders. He did what had to be done. So we don't take this moment and I worship lightly. Because Jesus himself did what no other human could do. That was to condemn sin in flesh. Amen. He came upon this earth and lived like you and I, tempted as you and I, but knew no sin. God placed him as the scapegoat of the souls of all mankind. And so when we, when we partake of the bread, it represents the broken body of Jesus. They beat him and tore his flesh, but he hung there on that cross because it was not his will, but his father's will. Then they pierced him in his side. The Bible says, Cain, blood and water. We take of the fruit of the vine that represents the blood that he shed from Calvary. And yes, his blood reaches you. And it reaches me. Every Sunday, not just one Sunday out of a month, or one Sunday out of a year, but every Sunday, we remember that not only he died, but early on Sunday morning, he did something else that man could not do. He conquered hell, death, and the grave. He got up. Amen. And that's why David said, Even though I walk through the valley and the shadow of death, but thou art with me. Years ago, the hymnologist wrote, Who's going down in the grave with me? Jesus went there and delivered us. Yes. So as we partake of his bread and this fruit of the vine, let our minds go back to Calvary, how he sacrificed his life. God, we thank you so much for the bread that represents the body, the blood that represents the fruit of the vine. We pray, God, we take it with clean hearts and pure hands until we, we meet you face to face. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. You may partake. We want to thank all of you this morning for the presence this morning. And we're certainly excited about um, Joshua this morning, putting the Lord on in baptism. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, yeah. so Joshua not now because he's been a part of my future. I've been a part of his future for a long time. And now, now I have served to be the past 10 minutes. And we look forward to watching what the Lord do with you. We're going to be praying for your, for your brother as well as he prepares to go over to uh, Pine Bluff, amen, to college. What a great job. I remember when your, mama, your mother brought you home, boy. Amen. <laughs> we look at you now, handsome young man. We pray that you stay faithful and that you stay focused and remember the things that your parents taught you. What a joy to have you here and have your grandma uh, and your granddad with us. Today. What a joy. I believe I got it right, didn't I? All right, good to have you all with us on today. We thank you so much for your for your presence on today. Is there anything resting on you all's heart? We're certainly glad to have you. Thank you so very, very much. Amen. We um, also want to give a shout out again to brother and sister Stanley Robinson, Collins placing third place in the uh, Optimist Club uh, essay, and he came in third place and received a good piece of money, amen, toward his college, and so let's yes. keep that in mind as well. Let's also keep Sister um, uh, 
I've always called him Felicia, but I think it's Phyllis uh, uh, Tate in your prayers in the death of Sister Eliza Tate, her mother. So let's keep them uh, in our prayers as, as well. Thank you so much uh, uh, for your presence. You've had a great, great day this morning. Also, let's not forget Wednesday night. We will be doing Zoom on Wednesday night. We're going to have a great, great time on, on Zoom, and I'm sure we'll have some more. We're also going to be calling Sister Wallace, who works with the Remind. I'm looking at Tuesday as a prayer time for us around 2 o'clock for our world, our United States, not just the United States, but also locally here in Hernando uh, as we, uh, the world, get past the rioting in all of these cities. And so let's, as people of God, go and pray. It will come out exactly what time we're going to do that on Tuesday. Wednesday at 7 o'clock, we will also uh, see you for our devotion and our prayer time at 7 o'clock on Zoom. Again, I want to thank uh, DJ Wallace and our King Roberts for our standing graduation Amen. program on yesterday. Thank you so much. And all of those uh, that, that work uh, with them to uh, make that a, a reality. We thank you on our Facebook page. We thank you for live streaming and being a part of it. We thank you for our YouTube followers. Thank you so very, very much. Uh, I think we probably gonna always have you looking at us. It had not always been the case, but we certainly thank you for your virtual uh, worship. My family from Detroit, my family from Denver, Colorado, my family from Chicago who's uh, on there every Sunday. Thank you so much for your presence. I want to thank all of you here at the Grove that comes on Sunday morning and give us and give them rather just still a taste of what we worship together corporately. Many of you have been calling, many of you have been texting and asking about when we're going to come together when it is safe. Amen. When it is absolutely <clears throat> safe for us. And if they give us 50% capacity here, we're planning to have two services for those uh, uh, senior members and those that have kind of a nine or have a, uh, uh, underlying you know, conditions and we'll have enough room to space and then we'll do young adults. And then how can you know whether or not a person doesn't have it? We're going to have a temperature tester. We're going to have a whole lot of things. The building will be sanitized uh, immediately after the 10 o'clock um, worship and prepare for the next. So it's going to require a bit of work, but we certainly uh, want to do it because we want to connect with, with you. But thank you so much for your support. To those that are listening, West Oak Road, let's not forget about our um, building fund uh, contribution on four Sundays. That was last Sunday. This is fifth Sunday, but you can still again send in and just earmark it as a uh, building fund because we're really wanting to get our building paid off so we can do more in the areas of, of mission work and also in our community. Now, what good is a church to be in a community if it is not serving a man, the community? And so we thank God. We thank God for you. Um, Feel like I'm forgetting something, but certainly if we do, we'll get it out to you. Thank God for you. Receiver has done a great job this morning leaving us our singing. <laughs> Help, amen, in, in singing. We're going to ask Seaver to do that again, amen, and send us home. And uh, uh, we're going to ask for the power who will come give us our dismissal prayer. Shall we be standing together, amen. And as we leave the building, as you see Joshua, now don't, 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 don't shake his hand, just touch him right there, amen. We, we don't want to, well, I hope we don't have way yet. We just want to be safe. Amen. We want to be safe. God bless you. Come on, sir. Sing hallelujah.